answers are inside. Yeah, I am a 21st century superhuman. Now, now, now is the time. Come, come. Come on, everyone, let's celebrate. We are the children of the sun. I can see you when I look into your eyes. We are the same, and we are light, and we are one. Here now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along. We are awakening as one. Hi there, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman, and this is our 21st Century Superhuman guest show. And today I have with me the wonderful Michelle Walling and Greg Prescott of N5D. Hi, you guys. Hi. Hi. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for having us, Carrie. We're really excited about talking to you today. Yeah, you guys both look beautiful, and I understand I, it's really an honor to get to have Greg on this show. So, Greg, thank you for showing <laughs> up. I call you the Jedi Master, and Jedi Masters like to hide out, and every once in a while they come and keep Yes, up. yes. <laughs> yeah. But you are the mastermind behind the amazing N5D website, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and I, I know that I had the privilege of literally launching the book, 21st Century Superhuman, at, at your at your at your Atlanta, which was really fun, and um, I met Hope Moore was there, and mm -hmm. I, uh, I, and uh, I'm trying to remember who there were some great people, and uh, it was really. Lisa Renee was there. Yeah, she made a big statement about the uh, portal off of the Siesta Key Coast that she had right. to close because apparently there were some uh, negative entities that were coming in and out of the uh, Siesta Key portal and she closed that and recently we had some incident where this energy wave came up from Antarctica and shot through Sarasota Florida at the exact same time a tornado a rare tornado got launched here in Sarasota and that ended up culminating into the uh, nor'eastern that went up the coast so it seems like those that are um, controlling quote unquote, the planet right now, um, they're trying to pull every trick in the book uh, to unlock these portals, but to no avail. Yeah. We've already won this, this battle and uh, it's pretty much smooth sailing ahead. They're going to try to pull their little tricks here and there, but outside of that, we're, we're good to go. I love hearing that, Greg. And really that um, when you look at a map, a grid map of the world, um, that area off the West coast of Florida, um, is really powerful. I know there's a really powerful Stargate there and um, it's a great place for you guys to be resonating your work mm -hmm. from. And I spend time pretty close to you as well, a little north, but um, I think we've got a really powerful energy group there at that point kind of feeding into the grid. And I always feel like we're led to where we're going to help feed light into the grid too. So mm -hmm. I love it that you guys are there and you have your crystal sand beaches where you yes. really have that resonance going out. And I know you have an amazing conference coming up in just a couple of weeks, right? Yes, because you are a speaker at our yeah, conference. Right. It's called the N5D Superpower Activation Conference and it's February 20th here in Sarasota. So. That's okay, Sammy. we can go ahead. We don't mind, what's his name? You guys, it's okay. You know what? Um, I think we just sent a wave through the matrix and that's why he's barking. That's how I would interpret that. That's what we do in our Jedi training. We say, man, when you say something that makes a wave in the matrix, suddenly you hear a siren or you hear a dog bark and you're getting a response that says you've just shifted the matrix. Mm -hmm. Greg, wow. if you kind of stay close to Michelle so you're not oh. too close to the edge over there, I think sometimes it cuts the edge off a little oh, bit. Oh, you, you guys closer. You guys like each other, I know. So <laughs> our conference is February 20th, and that's less than two weeks away. And uh, we are selling out quickly. We have um, 
a few tickets left mm -hmm. if you haven't bought your tickets yet. But um, it's all day event, and we have six high vibrational speakers. We're going to be talking about pure bioenergy healing, and uh, we're going to have a QHHT practitioner, and of course you and Greg's going to be speaking, and I'll be speaking, and we're just going to have a high vibrational time. And we're not really there to activate anyone's DNA. What we're there is to help them learn how to raise their vibration and activate it within themselves and make the intentions known to the universe that they're ready to move forward out of this reality. Nice. And as we know, um, whenever these gatherings happen, there's such an acceleration. It's so nice to bring everybody's energy together. I know every one of these kind of things I go to always leaves a mark in my life. It's usually an initiation point for new friends, for new activation in myself. And um, so I'm really excited about being there. You know, me too. And the next day on Sunday, we're having a meditation on the beach uh, before the drum circle. They have a public drum circle every Sunday and it's called the harmonic emergence instead of convergence. Yes. And it's just a gathering of like-minded souls who would like to put their intentions out for this, this uh, shift and to send energy um, to every human on the planet and the planet itself in a collective effort to move things forward. And I think that's really important right now because we are getting so close to really a major shift out of that old, I call it the Babylonian, you know, slave species matrix kind of, and we're getting ready to move into, I say the new earth is in the birth canal. We're giving birth to this <laughs> new kind of planetary presence where the each person as a creative being can live in abundance. And were, were you already checking? I had a dream about three nights ago that I was pregnant and I was going to give birth tomorrow. Wow. I called my ex-husband who's passed and I said, Bill, I just thought you should know that your son is about to have a sibling tomorrow. And then I remember wow. looking down and thinking, well, I don't look pregnant. And then I said, well, maybe not. <laughs> oh my but, gosh. I have complete chills. That's beautiful. Cause I know you're not very, tomorrow, but soon. <laughs> you know what? You're very tuned in Michelle. And I know that you tend to channel things in from other dimensions and I love it. You have numerous websites where you're working with star children and different kinds of things. What are some of those? Well, I created the starchildren.net with uh, inspiration from Mary Rodwell, who I had on my Cosmic Awakening show. Oh, she's incredible. Right. And then I just, um, I just had to put a conglomerate of things together, articles and videos that help um, people who have young star children know about vaccines and about um, supplements they may need. And of course, all children uh, being born right now are special but these star children in general are the ones who are exhibiting this uh, superpowers and this DNA activation, this third strand or more scientifically being proven, um, remembering their past lives and, and or having some kind of child prodigy um, expertise in the arts or in the sciences or mathematical or just plain geniuses. So... Um, these, these are, these are the future of humanity and they're helping activate us. They're helping mm -hmm. activate the whole collective human consciousness. So I have that website. Awesome. That is beautiful and Thank so you. important. Thank you. And then I have one that goes down the, the rabbit hole about the archons and the reptilians and the grays, just because we really need, you know, I, I needed to know who are the, our oppressors, who are we beating right now? So uh, it's called how to exit the matrix.com. And then I also do holistic life coaching. And uh, my website for that is michellewalling.com. So mm -hmm. Greg has another, he has another website as well. Yes. Yeah. Greg, tell us a little bit. Um, I'd like to know what else you have and also tell us how you got started within 5d. I'd like to just sure. talk a little bit about that. Well, let's get with how I and got I started. See Michelle, you have an in 5d <laughs> mug there. Let's I'll have that. some of these for sale at the conference. Yeah. And I know you guys have t-shirts as well, right? Yeah. Yes, yes we do. Can people yeah. order those online if they don't come to yeah. the conference? Yes. Um, we'll have, we have, uh, two other websites called one's called in 5d shop. Dot com and right now we just have ebooks up until I figure out how to add the products 
but we're going to have mugs and t-shirts available on that. And then I have a platform for many people who come to us with things that they would like to advertise. And so I created a website called n5dmarketplace.com where they can place a free ad with their products so, mm-hmm. so we can help people out. That yeah. is awesome. And I know N5D has grown to be a really cool hub for a lot yeah. of people. We, uh, right now we get between one to three million people every month. That is incredible. Plus. Yeah, it is. Wow. And I'm just so happy that we have so many in 5D family members, as I call all of us. Um, and it's funny, you know, it wouldn't exist, in my opinion, without my daughter. Um, my daughter was conceived on my 33rd birthday, and she was my fail-safe, me- uh, fail-safe method. Um, I had been awakened since I was a child, but I kind of strayed off. And I think when, when I turned 33, my daughter said, you know, if, you, if you're not on your path right now, I'm coming in. So she was conceived wow. on my 33rd birthday. And the marriage didn't last very long. Um, we got divorced quickly, and I had joint custody of her. So one day I was over at my ex-wife's house uh, picking my daughter up. And she wasn't ready at the time. So my ex-wife, Amy, said, hey, have you ever checked out the trailer to The Secret? I'm like, no. So I went inside and checked it out. And it blew my mind away so much that by the time Brittany and I got home, I ordered the DVD. And it came there within a few days. And uh, I'll be talking a little bit more about this at the conference. But a long story short, um, because it did blow me away in so many different ways, I ordered it. And uh, one of the things that they said is to ask the universe for ideas and suggestions. And I, at the time, I was a child and family therapist, and I had my own business. And uh, I still put it out there because I knew that there was so much more I needed to do in this, in this world than to just help X amount of uh, at-risk youth. So uh, I put it out there, and immediately I got what, what's called a, a galactic download. And uh, it was basically instructing me to build in 5D and it even gave me the name in 5D.com. This is your website. Wow, this is what is, you're going to be putting on it. See, These are the people that you're going to be helping. Yeah. And, uh, 21st century superhuman was the same way. It was a galactic download. I mean. Yes, I completely yeah. understand. Yeah. Uh-huh. Definitely. And, uh, and like I said, my, my daughter, she, uh, she's a, a waitress over at Applebee's right now. And as far as I'm concerned, she's already done whatever it is she needs to do. She's one of those people that all she needs to do is bring her energy because she, if it wasn't for her, she has no idea how many millions of people she's helped just by being born and for that incident to happen, that situation to happen when I went to pick her up. So uh, she's helped millions and millions of people without even knowing it. And uh, I'm very grateful. That is so cool. You know, and really, Mm -hmm. I, I go out and teach 21st century superhuman workshops and I have so many young people magnetized to my, you know, to what I'm doing. And some of them are even crying at the end of the workshop and mm-hmm. they just say, all we want to do is live authentic lives. And they really came in with this advanced DNA and this more, I mean, UCLA has done studies that show on a million young people showing that they have more advanced DNA mm-hmm. and, um, that they really have come in to carry this the next step forward and they're looking at the old system going we didn't come in to be part of that what's going on so we're in this bridging time but that's so beautiful about your daughter i think she's i'm sure she's a magical soul she is she's uh she's psychic and she sees things that haven't happened yet but uh and she's learning how to use this ability because a lot of the things that she sees sometimes they're not so nice but that's an opportunity and she'll learn that, you know, how to use that as an opportunity to help people. And how regard. beautiful that she has somebody like you as a guide in a, you know, called, yes. the, called her father. But, yeah. You know. And her mom's metaphysical. So nice. she can talk to either one of us about nice. these situations. Plus her boyfriend, Kyle, um, he's metaphysical as well. He grew up in a metaphysical, well, at least his mom was metaphysical and he has a very good understanding of the, you know, esoteric metaphysical spiritual world so uh she's got a lot of support and when she's ready if that day ever comes uh i'll welcome her aboard and we'll find something for her to do on in 5d and if that day never comes that's okay too because 
she she's already done her job as far as I'm concerned. Nice. So Michelle was saying you have some other website or websites as well. Yes, I do. Uh, the next one I have is uh, it's called body, mind, soul, spirit.com. Beautiful. And it, it's a wonderful website for those people who may be just awakening or are on the verge of awakening. Plus anyone who's awakened already, of course, because we do cover a lot of uh, things that we um, cover on in 5D, but it doesn't go as far down the spiritual esoteric, um, especially the, the escape the matrix kind of thing. But uh, unless I say something on my radio show, yeah, yeah, I have a, I have a radio show on Sundays. I do once or twice a month called BMSS radio. And I intended for it to be very, um, you know, basic on a first level of spiritual awakening, but it never works out that way. <laughs> I was already talking about um, Inanna and Inky and Enlil <laughs> and <laughs> the reptilians and everything. And I was wow. like, I can't not, you know, talk about you that. Gotta be you. It always segues into and to, you know, the reason why that we're going through this. You know, I think I see everywhere people being much more open, just even in the last year. I mean, everywhere I go from the post office to the grocery store can start a conversation with someone and they're interested in what's going on and they're open and curious. I think there's been so much disclosure at a really conventional level that people can't keep their eyes closed anymore. And we are mm -hmm awakening to that there is a really deep ancient history that has brought us into this now and that we are incredible beings and that we have a different kind of destiny than has been acted out on planet earth for a long time. Mm -hmm. Well, the most interesting thing that I've, I've really come to take as my truth is the fact that, um, Inanna who was, uh, Anu's great-granddaughter, I believe, um, you know, of the bloodline of the Anunnaki, um, basically channeled a book, which I'm not really into channeling, but when I read it, it rang as truth. And Greg has released some articles in the past six months about the Anunnaki returning to undo what they did to our DNA. And, you know, it took me... It, a while to really process hearing it from somebody else. And that's the, that's what happens with, with articles. You might read something and you go, I don't know about that. And then you'll be shown synchronicities or confirmations and stuff that is just undeniable to give you what you need to experience it for yourself. And that's what happened to me. And I truly believe um, from this book called Inanna returns that um, I had a lot of synchronicities in tune with that where she's telling where she has um she has made her reconnection with source and she has incarnated herself uh around like a hundred pieces of herself in this time right now as well as some of her family members yes and that they've been basically told that they have to come back and give us our powers back our dna activations plus um, you know, where we would have evolved to so far, you know, had they not stunted us. And she's very willing and happy to do that and says she gets a very bad rap for some of the things that she did. And even though her family is service to self, they're still part of Source. And um, Source created, you know, all beings. So they're here to provide a little bit of friction, but her family went a little too far and she's explaining you know, how she's, you know, being the spokes spokesperson for them saying, well, we're going to rectify this. And that's why, that's why we are having this, this uh, DNA activation through the cosmic energies that are coming through and through the Oort clouds that we're traveling through and through our, our family or aspects of us uh, and spaceships that are helping to um, send us love and to, um, send us information, not telling us what to do, but supporting us in uh, ideas and ways and synchronicities. So putting things together in this matrix so that we can work together and figure it out on our own and make our own decisions. You're a gr great eloquent voice about this, Michelle. I love hearing you speak about it. And um, 
Yes, you're absolutely right. And the fact that we're in this beautiful awakening, I mean, in a way, the Anunnaki are our great, 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 great grandparents or our ancestors. And in a way, we, ha we also have advanced DNA because of them. And maybe we advance more quickly. And also, I know that many of them have gone through an awakening process because we're going through an awakening. And, um, mm -hmm. and it is just that awakening to that we are totally connected to source. We are divine creator beings of love. And as HeartMath Institute has demonstrated, when we can enter into that state, which I call our superhuman state, we literally, our DNA begins linking up. And um, so we will converge with those other beings in the cosmos who have also um, been going through that awakening and mm -hmm. knowing that we really need to be creating from love in all the dimensions of time and space. Well, Greg and I are ready to be galactic ambassadors. We had this conversation <laughs> yes. yesterday. Ooh, I love it. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. You have to be out of judgment and have a bigger picture understanding and come from a place of, okay, let's just fix this thing and let's move on because we're tired of, you know, this existence, tired of waiting. Yeah. I've been putting it out there for at least seven or eight years that I, I, I want to volunteer to be a galactic ambassador, to do whatever it takes to help people out there integrate with everybody down here and uh, just bring it all together. And I've already got the platform for it. So why not right now? They can just come land in our house if they want. Sure. We're okay. We'll, we'll do it. We're we'll not do an interview like this. I love that. That's a beautiful. And um, I love those pictures when you see all these galactic beings sitting around a table together yeah. and um, there's this dialogue going on. And I think we're, we're getting really close to that. I mean, between Corey Good and the secret space wars and, mm -hmm. you know, David Wilcock and all the disclosure that's happening. And then all the beautiful things that are happening on planet earth where we're hopefully soon giving birth to global collateral funds to help bridge us into an abundant culture beyond money, which is a big thought yes. to embrace. Um, but I just listened to Guy MTV. There's a great show on there that's current. Um, that's Michael Tellinger, Corey Good, and David Wilcock. It's just 30 minutes, and it's about Ubuntu. And, um, and Corey Good says, who's been in the Secret Space Program, says, oh, yeah, he says, the galactics have told us they're watching Ubuntu as one of the most powerful movements on planet Earth because ultimately we will move beyond money. Mm -hmm. And um, Ubuntu is this ancient African philosophy that says, I am who I am because of who we all are together. Mm -hmm. And um, that is really, we are getting ready to move into, like people will say to me, I'll post something on, uh, you know, I have this, these different news feeds on Facebook and I'll post things on Putin and the Chinese you want and people will say oh that's pretty scary and I'll say well it's not really if you understand what's going on because we have all these shifts in the global economic system taking place that will give birth to the possibility of the old cabal system getting moved out of the way and they're being able to, us being able to move into a system beyond debt beyond taxation where every person is receiving the abundance that is their natural birthright in being here. And this is a giant leap. And it's, as Michael Tellinger says, it's a lot of unwinding of the program, you know, in our, in our brain to get us to where we can really comprehend that. But I love this, you know, what's coming in right now. It's pretty fantastic. Well, similar to the Ubuntu program, I'm sure just about everyone's heard of Jock Fresco. Oh, yeah. This project, which is right here in Florida, yeah. in Venus, Florida, about maybe an hour and a half away from us. And he's hitting his 100th birthday, right? Exactly. Yeah. And Michelle and I will be going to his 100th birthday party awesome. at Fort Myers on March 12th of this year. And then on the 16th, we're going for a tour, uh, an all day tour of the Venus project. So hopefully, we're going to be able to maybe get a quick interview in with jo Jock Fresco. That's like interviewing creator or source, <laughs> you know? How amazing will that be? Well, we want to learn as much as we can about that system, that ecological system. And of course, um, you know, I think places like that are going to become this, the cities of light that, that we've been talking about. Yes. And 
perhaps we have to create it on a 3D level and then it'll morph into a 4D, 5D, 6D level where, you know, crystals will be the sources of energy and, and uh, you know, ways to um, heal and things like that once again. So, well, we also have seen uh, when Michelle has had her uh, meetups, people having spontaneous awakenings, activations, and I'm, activations, yeah. and I'm thinking, here we are going to, we're going to be in the same room as John Fresco and all these other high vibrational people. What's going to happen then? <laughs> He's really yeah. excited. About yes. It. That is awesome. I'm really stoked for you guys. I'm actually a couple of days after your conference, I'm actually leaving for Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. And um, I wish I could be at the John Fresco thing. I didn't realize they were kind of conflicting, but I'm going to go to Costa Rica for three weeks and I'm inviting nice. people down to do a detox with me. But at the same time, the Envision Festival will be going on down there and there will mm -hmm. be 5,000 people gathered holding the frequency of love for the planet. And I think, um, I think there's a reason I'm being brought down there to that. And as I say, and I think all, everyone who, of, who is our listeners um, needs to know, none of us are accidental tourists here right now. We all agreed to come in and be part of this great change at this time on planet Earth. So what I like to encourage people to do is to listen to your own hearts, follow your heart, get in tune with your own heart, kind of like your story, Greg, um, of, you know, shifting from sort of your, your kind of 3D professional career mm -hmm. into what was the vision of your heart and soul. And, yeah. um, you know, I've done that quite a bit over the years. And I mean, I sat when I wrote this book, I sat for eight months with a scarf wrapped around my head, and I couldn't <laughs> even talk. And I had was given this you know, message, write the book now. And, um, and let's see, here we go. Zoom. Yes. <laughs> the matrix is saying, Oh, you guys are shifting me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're in such exciting times. And I know, um, Jacques Fresco's work, the Venus project is really supported by Swiss Indo as the Swiss Indo fund is able to be brought into movement on the planet. Um, beyond these old systems. Um, I know their intention is to really support Venus uh, project communities all over the world. So I think we're really right on that, on that brink of some really major shifting taking place into a more viable human culture. And I want to encourage everybody, as I know you guys do as well, that it is our minds and hearts um, because we live in a quantum hologram. And so as we can envision and align with and breathe and smile. I was waiting for it. <laughs> I know, Michelle, you and I talked Wait for it. We, for actually, it. <laughs> we actually did a presentation this winter together, didn't we? And it was, yeah, so it was great. We had a great audience at New Beginning Oneness Center in Tarpon Springs. Really great. Mary Lou Wallace was our host and she's yes. just a wonderful, she's awesome. very enlightened being. I mean, she's yes. so sweet and full of love and right. she has the gift of being able to speak as well, speak her heart she and does. channel in that truth too. Yeah. I say she's got the gift of preaching. She's really. Into <laughs> yeah. She actually used to be a preacher and then she figured out about religion. Right. Yep. She's really great. And so we had a great time at that. Um, at that get together, we had a lot of really good turnout and, um, yeah, you got kind of tuned into, I mean, basically Einstein says, if you can't explain it to a six year old, you don't understand it very well yourself. And these changes that we're in are as simple as listening to our own heart, breathing and smiling when anything comes up outside of love and centering in love. And we literally change the world by doing that. I mean, that's how simple it is. Well, besides the kick ass stuff that we're doing, kicking some major butt, but you know. Of course. <laughs> well, I wanted to make a yeah. comment about sure. Putin actually, um, because Putin has really surprised a lot of people with um, what he's doing to expose uh, the UFO cover up. And he's also, trying to bring the petrol dollar down with his um, conglomerate of allies. And while that's going to be end up being a positive thing overall, I believe, as long as the USA, um, they don't have to suffer, you know, the people, the innocent people don't have to suffer. Um, I do want to, uh, to let people know that we have uh, many strands of, not strands, but we have many, um, additional genetics added to us, not only the reptilians, but we have 
you know, some say 12 total uh, different star beings as part of our DNA. And what we're seeing right now with Putin, Putin is out for Russia. Putin is not out to help the United States. Putin is out for Russia, but it will end up being good in the end. But what we're seeing is a scramble for people, um, for beings who are trying to, when the top comes down in, in the hierarchy, there's a lot of backstabbing going on at the, at the upper and middle level to see who can try to take over <laughs> the planet and claim humans as theirs. So it's very interesting to watch this unfold, and we just need to be cognizant that we don't need a leader. We don't need um, a, a government. We don't need to be governed. What we need is assistance from our star beings and from our higher selves to allow us to go within and read every bit of the truth about our history and uh, for our for for the DNA to be activated and for our perfected template to come online and we are like the gods when that happens so we won't need uh, any hierarchy on this planet we will be perfectly capable of fi figuring things out on our own and helping other people just as they are our equals on the planet. Mm -hmm. That is fantastically well said, Michelle. Um, very beautiful. Thank you so much for voicing that. And I think it's, you know, it's really important because we are growing into this concept of ourselves. It is beyond government. It's beyond monetary systems. Um, I've also heard tell that there are, a lot of galactic beings who are actually stepping in as even walk-ins into some of the yes. global leadership positions. Yes, I believe that Putin has a walk-in. I just yeah. don't know which star system. Is I always coming. say he's a star being with a big <laughs> lightsaber. Yes, and I mean you can see the difference in, in the change in him over the years. Yeah. yeah, and I think there's numerous people like that. I think Kesh is also one of those who's bringing forth the pl plasma-free energy systems, and really the goal or objective of each of these leaders. I also believe Pak Sugi, who's the head of Swiss Indo, similarly is operating from like the ninth dimension. And that these, um, the, the goal spoken by each one of these leaders is world peace. I mean, for us to get along as one family and to live together in peace. And I think that being really the bottom line, we have to get over our differences or thinking someone else is right or wrong or <laughs> one religion. Listen, the Matrix is responding. What's your dog's name again? Sammy. Sammy. He's Sammy, our, that's right. I remember yeah. when Greg got him. He was a puppy. <laughs> uh, He's our Sammy, mascot. Yes. Thank you. Um, you see, he was agreeing with us. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing, nothing else to bark at. Well, speaking of Sammy, We've got some really wild anomalies going on at the house here. And Sammy has the ability to uh, watch other beings all, and they're not malevolent. I mean, he would be uh, really freaking out if they weren't, but he likes, he wags his tail and he chases them all around the house. And they seem to go into the ground and back up from the ground and wow. orbs on, uh, on camera and stuff. But, uh, he he's obsessed with showing yes. us that there's many 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 beings here. That and is so cool. You know, Paul, the carpet or the tile, and let us know where they are. But on the other, on the flip side, he does have a knack for uh, hearing and seeing things coming out of the television when the television is not on. Yeah, probably wow. sound frequencies. Even even when I unplugged the cable box and the television, still still happened. Wow. He's barking at the TV when well, it's you know shut what? off. I had four amazing dogs, all very giant, all uh, all hundred pounds or over, and they were really amazing beings. And I always felt that they were star beings who couldn't really incarnate as a human, but they incarnated as or walked in as a, a, a dog who could walk with me. Mm -hmm. And they all were only here for short periods of time. Um, and I was devastated when they left, but I feel like those beings are still with me. But I had that same kind of relationship with them where they knew um, what was going on energetically and they knew what was going on in the field. And um, oh, what a precious companion to have. <laughs> yes. So yeah. Craig, Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, it, yeah, this is my third German Shepherd that I've had. And he 
they're an incredibly smart breed to begin with, but he by far is the smartest. He was house trained by uh, 12 weeks old, completely house trained, um, could catch a Frisbee by the age of six months old. Um, he's be, he, he learns just so quick. And I know traditionally, like I said, shepherds learn quickly, not as quickly as this one. He is uh, perhaps one of those advanced beings that you were talking about, Carrie. I'm sure. Yeah. I would have no doubt. So you had mentioned um, the Body, Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit website. Uh -huh. Is that right? We're going to put all your links under this awesome. video because I'd like people to be able to find everything mm -hmm. you guys are doing. You've become a hub for, um, and you know, with your millions of viewers at mm -hmm. In5D, I mean, you have reached out to this now what we have really multi-millions on the planet waking mm -hmm. up, entering into this new wave of consciousness. And you guys are such a great hub for that work and kind of you've opened up these different gateways for people who are searching in different ways to find answers. And it's mm -hmm. so wonderful. And I'd like them to be able to find you. So yes. were there any other websites besides that one that you mentioned and those Michelle has mentioned already? Yeah, there is. I have another one called Holistic Cancer Research. Wow. Where sure. according to Dr. Leonard Caldwell, there's over 300 cures for cancer. And we're trying to cover all of them on there. So uh, that's another one. I also have another website that um, it was the first website I ever uh, built. And it was, uh, it's called Maya12-21-2012.com. And I built that to show that 2012 was not the end of the world. And it, it basically showed the truth behind 2012. And I still have that up and running for people to look back and reference. There's nothing, nothing on there that I'm ashamed or embarrassed about. I think it was a huge date that a lot of people awakened on. Oh, yeah. It was really the inauguration, I think, of this phase of awakening that we're in. Yeah. So how cool. That's awesome. Anything yes. else? Well, our our uh, YouTube website that, <laughs> gosh, we've had on the N5D YouTube channel, I think it's over 33 million views on our videos. Wow. Yeah. yeah it's a lot. Well, I do some videos on N5D Network, which is my video network. And then Greg posts all of the um, shows from N5D Radio. We have mm -hmm. Candace Crawl Goldman, who's a, a speaker at our conference. She's a QHHT practitioner that worked with Dolores Cannon. And she has a lot of stories uh, about you know her clients as well as other practitioners and their stories about um, what the clients were saying, you know, under hypnosis. And let's just mention what that is because I think it's a fascinating subject. Oh, QHHT is the method that Dolores Cannon um, created for uh, a deep, uh, some, some, how do you say it? Some bonalistic. Synambulistic. <laughs> There's a few words I can't say, oh, okay. <laughs> and that's one of them. Uh, uh, the state of uh, uh, hypnotic trance, uh, where they're taken, the clients are taken back, back, back until you know the sub, the higher self wants to show a lifetime that's significant to them, so that they can understand things that are happening in this lifetime, because everything really happens at the same time, and also. They visit the time in between lives where they either went back to source or they went to a healing place or another dimension or another planet to uh, recoup and figure out what they're going to do next. And, uh, you know, Dolores Cannon was an angel on this planet when she was here. She never really brought forth a lot of information about the controllers and the different uh, beings, you know, she never went down that path. And that's because she wasn't supposed to, she was supposed to bring positive messages. And, um, she did. And she was a very, she was a very, um, special part of my awakening because I loved the books, uh, the three waves of volunteers and the custodians. And, you know, when she really got into the extraterrestrial part, I was just digging that because when yeah. I first woke up, and I found out, oh my gosh, I have a star family. I've been on other planets. And, you know, uh, that's all I wanted to, to focus on. You know, that's what made me happy. And that's what people need to do right now is to, to um, uh, make their intentions on the earth that they, uh, with the, that they would like to see uh, in their reality. And as Dolores Cannon called it, the new earth. And also to do things right now 
that are centering and grounding and things that make them happy, give them joy as we seem to be in a small waiting period. Well, maybe a long waiting period that we were in, but I think it's narrowing down. And um, so as we wait, we can create. And um, really we moved, we've really, I've moved from a fighting, um, you know, you know, fighting warrior type to more of a calm centered balanced. Okay. I'm really ready to do this. And this is what I want to create. And we share everything on our websites for free. We don't charge for anything. There's, um, there's one ad that you can buy on N5D marketplace that helps pay for that particular website. You know, we do have a lot of expenses with all these websites. There's seven or eight or not nine with the, the two other ones that you uh, mentioned, but, and then my holistic life coaching, um, I charge for that. But other than that, and the conference fee where we have to pay other speakers, everything is free and the universe is abundant. And so we are practicing abundance at this point. This is beautiful. And, um, you know, I do the same thing when I go out and teach my workshops. I do it. I do. I just suggest a love donation of like twenty two dollars. It's not very much. And um, mm -hmm. and then part of that even usually goes to the venue um, where I'm teaching, which is like a light center or a unity church or something like that. And um, I sell my books because I have to pay for them to be published, et cetera. But um, what did you say? I was just seeing some energy above your right shoulder moving in the background. Nice. And I hope that it got captured that other people will be able to see that and maybe rewind. And Are you saying me? Or yes. yeah. Oh, nice. Awesome. I see that a lot sometimes when I'm talking to other people. I will see their uh -huh. auras moving or I'll see something in the field. And um, mm -hmm. we're, I'm not surprised. And um, here we are together in a very alchemical space with what we're sharing. And again, Michelle, I want to Thank you for your really, really beautiful, you have this professional eloquence with which you share um, this material and it's really wonderful. And I know it's part of what has given you the following that you have and um, really want to honor that. And yeah. I'm just me, you know, I'm just me. And you know, sometimes, sometimes I'm like that and sometimes I've just turned my mind off or, you know, cut, cut the flow or whatever, because it's just, I'm just me. That can't you know, be made for public speaking. Yeah, I think she does. And we want to encourage others also. Oh, yes. To listen to their heart. Listen to their spirit. Because I was just sharing with you guys earlier, and you were sharing something similar. I was the person whose knees knocked together in speech class. And <laughs> yeah. Here I am on, you know, global videos all the time. And um, it just seems like the most natural thing in the world to me. But it's because I'm passionate about what I'm doing. I love what I'm doing. I'm driven to share and I know, and there's been times, which I bet you guys have had too, where I've felt like, oh my God, am I going to step off the cliff and do this? Like maybe Greg, when you started in 5D, I mean, I know when I started writing the book, I've had these moments where I've gone, I'm stepping into like, you know, representing something that a lot of people in the world can't comprehend or they think is, you know, supernatural or whatever. And mm -hmm. But then to step into that and say, and quantum physics teaches us we are living in a giant hologram. And um, I always say in my workshops, um, John Hagelin tells us the field, the source field of creation is like effervescent ginger ale. It's just waiting for our thoughts upon it to bring creation into being. And um, one of the really cool things Corey Good shared in one of the videos I was listening to is they literally do have time travel in the secret space programs. And when people who were focused around evil would time travel into the future, they would see evil happening. And when people who were focused around good would time travel into the future, they would see good and beautiful things happening. And I think that is a lesson to us. I think we need to know we're living in this creative, beautiful, ever flowing from source field and it is up to us to choose what we're going to call into creation. And as we breathe and smile and center in love and hold the field for the new earth, for our highest self, for us getting along as a galactic and human family, we are literally bringing that new earth into being. Greg, you were going to say you've had times when you felt like you were taking a leap into the 
Oh, know, definitely. Oh my God, can I do this thing? Yeah, well, there was, uh, you know, when, when I first brought up uh, in 5D, I was still working as a child and family therapist. And there was a point where I said, that's it. I'm just going to do my websites full time. And of course, my parents were... Oh, you need to keep doing your therapy thing, and what if it, what if it doesn't work out, and so on and so forth. And I mean, they believed in me, but they also wanted to see that that three D aspect of myself succeed as a therapist. And at the time, I had written a uh, a program that has a patent pending to it, designed to help families who are at risk of dissolution, children who are going through the reunification process, and for parents in need of parenting classes. And I was implementing that in the area in the area's largest um, human service uh, facility um, and doing well with it. But I knew that there was so much more. My parents wanted, wanted to see me go more in that direction, but that was the point where I said, no, I got to devote myself full time to uh, basically in 5D and fulfill what the galactic download I, I received uh, told me to do. And uh, in the end, my parents said, you know what, you were right. And uh, we're so proud of you that you did follow your dream and didn't listen to our advice, but you just went forward because you believed in yourself and now they believe in me as well. Wow, what a great story. Yeah, thank you. His dad's in his 80s. Yeah, and we can oh, talk to my parents about like all this 70s. stuff right now. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah. You know, yeah, my mom is really supportive. Of, she doesn't get everything that I do, but she gets it at a certain level. And, yeah, yeah. Know, I come from a family, my parents were both, you know, activists and mm -hmm. she just looks at me and goes, wow, where did you come from? You know? <laughs> but she also gets that I'm working on global change. And yeah. Well, speaking of uh, accomplishments, I have read all of your book and wow. I think it's, it's absolutely fascinating. I love the fact that you have quoted so many people. You found every inspirational quote I think there is on the planet and integrate it into this book and hope you bring lots of copies with you at the conference for sale. Thanks, Thanks Michelle. They're in shipping right okay, now. Okay, good. To meet in so I can bring them down to the conference. Thank you so much. And I think I'd like to encourage people to pick up the book and read it. It's available on Amazon and Kindle. Um, I'm also working on getting an audio version out. And even if you just pick it up and read it, um, in a scattered way, there's so much information in there. And I've had people tell me it's like you brought in, you know, 2000 other books in order to make it happen. But it's this, it was this download that just was like, okay, these pieces of information are coming together. People need to be able to see it as a whole. And I've literally watched because of how I've been able to speak since I wrote it. And I always say, I'm not the same person I was yesterday, you know, as I put myself into that material and began having to live it. I began seeing how I could speak in the communities of global leaders that, oh, it's not them to blame out there. There's not somebody else who's doing something wrong. What we need to do is remove our own old data and begin entering into this space of love and creating in a new way. And um, I've been able to see this, our whole global community changing, I think, as a result of that, which has been really cool. Well, many things are going on. Whether you write a book or whether you create a website, first of all, you have to organize your own thoughts. Yes. Otherwise, you have this fear of speaking and you get this block in your throat and you, you want to say things, but you're afraid that you won't know how to express yourself. But when you get your thoughts all clear, and lay it all out and you feel really comfortable and practiced with what you know, it allows you to become, um, to be able to speak your truth uh, even easier. And so anybody out there who um, has a really good understanding uh, of what's happening and they've been, perhaps they've been thinking about, well, how am I going to get started? I think the first thing to do is to probably just get a Wix website, a free website and start a blog and you know, start a uh, presence on Facebook or any other social media. I mean, as much as we don't like Facebook, on the other hand, you know, Facebook is our really good friend when it comes to reaching as many people as possible. So, um, and then you, then you can just start talking uh, on radio shows, being a guest. I mean, um, I'm, I have an open platform for anyone who wishes to, uh, to get on and, and talk about different things. I have actually two radio shows and a, and an N5D network. So yes. we dedicate our time to helping, you know, there's um, tons of things that we don't know yet. 
And what I think is going to um, is happening right now are people who are uh, not only channeling their higher selves now, where as before they were looking outside of themselves for beings coming to them with messages, dear ones, and you know all this galactic federation and a cat and Ashtar command and things and that we went through that whole phase. And I think now people are really channeling their higher selves and their close star member family members, because they do have messages for what we're going to be doing. Um, I mean, how to survive this shift. Also, we, we, we you were just mentioning a little bit about uh, people calling in and talking. I know that probably you're in the same boat as well, Carrie, that there was a point in, in all of our lives where you heard a great talk show, you wanted to get involved, you called the number up, and before they answered, you hung up because you got <laughs> cold feet and you didn't want to speak Your or you got nervous. And, yeah. and you start hyperventilating, and then you, then, or maybe you get on and you forget, you, you just freeze and you forget what I know. you want to say. <laughs> I know one time. Heidi and I, uh, on my radio show, we did a show on introverts, and surprisingly, nobody called in. <laughs> no calls whatsoever. So, oh, there goes my headphones. That is so funny. That is okay. beautiful. You guys, that's really beautiful. And we tell our stories just to encourage everyone out there to begin having your story to tell. And I love what you guys are saying. You know, when people write me and say, oh, you know, you're, I'm, so encouraged about what's going on because of what you're putting out. And I say, I write them back and I say, we can only do it together. You know, it's, it's taking all of us. It's taking every single one of us to wake up, to know that we want to live in a new system, to breathe, to smile, to be kind and friendly wherever we go and to become a participant in the developing of a new way of living together as a race of beings on this planet. Bring it on. Yeah. We are so ready. Yes. So you guys, let's review um, the details on your conference again that's going on in Sarasota, Siesta Key, um, in just a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. N5D Superpower Activation Conference. Tickets are on sale online only at www.n5devents.com. We also have a few vendor tables left. If you have anything, any jewelry, handmade anything, if you want to be a food vendor or you know, whatever, if you live here in the Sarasota area or surrounding area um, and you want to come bring your things to sell, um, you can also um, contact me through that website and we'll talk about what you have and what your needs are. And it's very inexpensive. Um, we're not in this to like, you know, gouge people for a bunch of money. We just want to bring people together and have an amazing experience. Um, and even if you can't attend the conference, attend the uh, event that we're having the following day. Yeah, it's free. That's free. That's free. And uh, we're also going to be recording the whole conference as well to be able to provide the information. because Right. Not, so uh, how, how will those recordings be available for people that are in other parts of the world or the country? We'll be posting them on N5D YouTube channel and we'll do a, we'll do an article on N5D and, we'll, and it'll also go on our Facebook pages and everything when it's ready. It probably, I'm going to say maybe a week afterwards to give us plenty of time to edit. Are you going to let people donate a little bit for the downloads of the Yeah, you know, very minimal amount. Just help very, support, keep the whole thing going. Yeah, I mean, it would have cost about $15 a person to do live stream. And that's just, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> this is like, no, that's just too much money. Let's just record it mm -hmm. and then just put it out on YouTube. Great. Awesome. Well, my dears, um, anything else you'd like to share with our listening audience? It's so much fun to be here with you today. Well, I have uh, completed level two of Zorin Hochstatter's Pure Bioenergy Healing class. And Pure Bioenergy is actually um, energy. It's, it's, um, it's kind of like it's energy work. It's not it's not Reiki because I think in Reiki sometimes you have to have an active you have to have activation and you're using symbols and you're putting your intention into it. The pure bio energy is just um, what Zorin calls going to the beach with your mind and your thoughts and just allowing your vessel to be in contact with the pure energy field around you and channeling that through your hands and your eyes to be able to um, affect the energy field of your client, to rebalance it, taking out 
energy where there's an excess and putting energy back in where there's a deficiency. And most diseases or ailments or pains are a lack of energy. So Zoran is our keynote speaker at the conference, and he'll be talking more about that. He's here in Sarasota, Florida, and he does uh, healings, distant healings, and healings in person. And um, He's going to be talking. Uh, we have Darcy Hotchkiss, too, who is one of his um, high, highest, highest level students that mm -hmm. heals. We just, in level two, learned how to do um, remote healing. So I'm going to be um, practicing for free on <laughs> yes. some people next week. I have four clients. Um, not that I don't think it's going to, you know, it's not powerful or anything. It's just that um, I, I'm just having a hard time charging. <laughs> I think, I mean, I'm running across people now that I have this healing class. I'm running across people that says, oh, I have this immense headache today or I'm having this problem. Oh, okay. Well, let me get, sign you up for a class and, and do a remote healing on you. So. As if there's not enough on your plate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I, you know. That's what it, we do. We give, give, give. That's well, when you do that, When you give, it always has to come back to you. So, yeah. yeah. No complaints. Here. We're collecting galactic credits right <laughs> we now. We are. We are. That's beautiful, you guys. Really awesome. And um, it is the culture that we're moving into. And I think many of us have stepped out of the matrix, so to speak. And we are doing everything we can to live in this new way. And as Michael Tellinger says, we've got some unwinding to do in that old data stream. But as we put this into practice with each other and individually in our lives, we begin activating this new way to live on planet Earth. I'd like to thank you guys for being here with me, Michelle Walling and Greg Prescott of N5D. You're awesome and so thank much you. fun to see you together. You beautiful. Can't wait to see you in less than two weeks. Yes, That'll be thank really you. Fun. And I want to thank um, Naturally Better TV, uh, which I'm on the team of, and with a whole bunch of other great producers and shows, um, please look for naturallybetter.tv and find our 21st Century Superhuman shows and um, many more great things by wonderful people. So um, much love to everybody out there in our listening audience. Much love to you guys, Greg and Michelle. Thank you. And we shall see you soon. Bye. Thank Bye. you, Carrie. Okay. Ciao and aloha. <laughs>